<laughs> Hi guys. My flowers are still pretty. Oh, sorry about the shadow. They are still pretty. Hi guys. It's Michelle with Garden Jargon. Let me clean my lens. Better? I think? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it's me here at the Ginger Creek Garden today. It is October 25th. And um, we were out here on Saturday. It's a pinch windy today. Let me get this a little closer. Uh, we were out here on Saturday with about nine community service workers on Saturday. And it was beautiful out. It was like 60 degrees. Today is 55 degrees. And we just got done having rain for 24 hours. Look at this. See that? That's how much rain we got in 24 hours. Where was that rain in the summer? We needed that rain in the summertime. Not in the fall. Goodness. It rained for a whole day. It was insane. We don't even have stuff that needs the water yet. Like we're already tearing our stuff out of the garden. But I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what we did for the future garden here at Ginger Creek. So let me start by showing you that. We have a beautiful walkway on this side, which is the north side of our garden. And we've extended it about 30 feet from the garden that we had last year. So let me walk over here to show you. What we did was we acquired, again, thankfully, Gaylord boxes, which are 5 8 inch thick boxes that we um, put down on the ground because it kills off the weeds and it's super thick and takes forever to break down and it will completely suppress out the weeds. So this section used to be grass here. You see it's all mulch now, which will be nice because I'll get a little table and chair set and set that out here so we have a place to sit down once in a while. Um, but this grass here was kind of all wonky anyway because the runoff from the water that comes off the roof goes down through these drainage pipes and drains down this direction. And then it always pooled and puddled right here in this section. So the ground was always lumpy. And there's not a day that I walk through there that I didn't twist an ankle and almost kill myself. So I figured if we put this wood chips down like this, nice and thick, that's about four or five inches thick. Throughout the whole winter, it's going to decompress and smoosh down to a nice flat surface. So now we have that section that we could put like a little picnic table, some tables and chairs, and then all of these boxes are ready to go. <laughs> I'm so excited! So this last bed here, we were gonna build this with timbers from an old fence, like fence pickets. Um, and I was gonna double them up, and then I found some free decking wood on Facebook Marketplace in Warrenville, and I went and got it. I shoved it all in my trunk of my little bitty car and popped a wheelie and I drove it all the way here. Then Roger helped me cut out the pieces. No, no, actually, Tom helped me. Pumpkin Tom helped me. Um, he's from the Batavia Community Garden. He helped me um, chop off the pointy ends of that and we got it all together. Roger built the squares for us that are at the joints so that we can drive the landscaping nails through them. And then all these beds were built with um, decking wood and all these beds were built with decking wood. So this weekend with all the community service workers, what we did was we laid doubled up the cardboard in the walkways, which is something that we definitely needed. And then we used Landscaping Jerry's um, truck and trailer, and we took it way back there behind that tree 
there was a, about 20 yards of compost back there, composted manure, that has been decomposing all summer. And it went from a pile as tall as me to a pile about to my waist height. Because when compost sits and is still hot and it breaks down like that, it shrinks. So we put a dressing of that manure in all these beds and these beds are not nearly anywhere where I need them filled. So we're gonna get some more compost or we're gonna get some donated um, garden soil from either Home Depot or something to fill the rest of these beds so that we can get them plant ready for when the spring hits. But in the meantime, in all of these walkways, like you see behind me in this walkway, all the walkways are doubled up cardboard and a thick, thick layer of wood chips. We still have more wood chips that we'll probably do another whole layer. I want the wood chips at least up to the top of the boxes because it'll decompress throughout the winter. And these are all ready to be planted. And we did a huge harvest on whatever vegetables we had left out here. And there are pounds and pounds of tomatoes out here ready to be picked. And I am grateful for that. Um, ooh, look at this guy. They're crushed. A little bit. Ah, sorry about that, tomato. I don't think maybe anybody saw that. I put those blossom bags over the tomatoes so that I can harvest those seeds so I can get the true heirloom variety out of that. That's what that means. But those got a little smushed in there. Oops. Um, I can still save the seeds from it, but there's tons of green tomatoes out here. See them all? And I don't see freezing temps for a couple more days. Not that these are at all going to blush or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and leave them on the plants until we think that we're going to have a frost for a couple days. Then I'll come out and harvest all of the green tomatoes as much as I possibly can. See? They're huge and green. Um, but there's nothing we can do. It's the end of the year. I can't believe that we have 55 degree weather on a sunny day today um, out here at Ginger Creek. So you can see this walkway also. This is another border that we have around the garden. And the beautiful thing about these walkways, I had these at my house and what I do is I furrow a row of compost and I plant zinnia seeds. And I'm going to do that with marigolds and zinnias throughout this whole garden, around the whole entire thing. So we have beautiful flowers around our entire garden next year. And we will have endless, endless bouquets of flowers. And I cannot wait for that. So, so excited. And I know we have plenty of wood chips. Because look. See it? Oh, right there. That's still the remainder of the wood chip pile. We have community service workers out here on... What days? Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. We are grateful for them. These are pretty. Sorry, distracted. Look how pretty that zinnia is. Those are pretty. <laughs> I love having community service workers out here, especially when they work hard because they don't know the blessings that they're giving so many people by being a part of our garden they may see it as a sign of punishment but it is actually helping us grow way more food next year for the food pantries and for the families that we feed here at Ginger Creek. So I just wanted to bring you out here and show you this. I'm going to take some still shots right now. Hope it's not too windy. Sorry about that. And um, it's October 25th. It's 55 degrees. The sun's getting ready to set so it's getting a little chilly. Just wanted to check in with you guys. Hopefully uh, we can find some more volunteers for next year, considering we just added another 30 feet to our garden. Just added a couple more hours of work on our garden for next season. But I think once people see the numbers and the families that we're impacting, I think that um, some more people will want to be a part of this next year. So just wanted to say hello, check in with you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe to my channel on my YouTube channel garden jargon it would help support me and my channel and my mission which is to help people grow food um, and educate them how to do that so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care and God bless